Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we are starting our park free day. Uh, but today we are eating breakfast at the most, everyone has recommended this restaurant. We are eating breakfast at Ohana's where we get to meet Lilo, Stitch, Mickey, and Pluto. So we're gonna see just how much fun we can have here and we know Asher loves meeting the characters. So I'm sure he'll have a great time. Let's hit the intro and we'll show you what this place is all about. Who's that? Oh, put your sausage down. <laughs> Can you give me my card? Card? Sure. Hey, but show Mick you. And guess what? I got a stitch on him. Asher, look at his necklace. Look. Oh, I got some flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Did he sneak up behind you? And get ready to capture the adventure. Disney friends bring the island style fun to you. Please enter the Look at me. Show me your teeth. Aloha celebration. Give Stitch a hug. Oh. So, Ohana's is a great character dining experience. The food is great, the atmosphere is great. The character interactions, you're probably only going to get about one, maybe two rotations of characters. Uh, we've been here about an hour. We've got one interaction with characters. So just kind of keep that in mind. This place is massively huge. So the characters have to go to each and every table to get to yours. So just kind of keep that in mind. But the food is great. I so. appreciate you guys. All right, friends. We just left Ohana's. I wanted to talk a little bit about our experience. Um, the food there... For a character dining is really really good uh, we've done a lot of different character dinings of course most of the breakfast character dinings foods are usually going to be good anyway because it's kind of hard to mess up all you can eat breakfast uh, but the ambiance there the environment all of this stuff it was it was great it was a great experience uh, the character interactions not as many as at Tusker House or not as many as like at Chef Mickey's but we did get like two go arounds of each character with the exception Asher only got to meet Stitch for like a couple of minutes that that was pretty much it so but overall I'd still give it 100% 5 out of 5 we'll definitely be going back it was such a great time the Hawaiian juice there was Mwah, it was yummy complete and utter yumminess i don't know what it was but it was good so uh we are going to continue our resort day we're going to head back to pop uh for those of you curious how we went from pop century to the polynesian we caught a bus from pop to magic kingdom checked in 
through the security and jumped on the monorail to the Polynesian and did the same mode of transportation all the way back. Now we're about to get on a bus and go back to Pop. So we utilize Disney transportation for well, everything. This is great. So we're gonna get on the bus and head back to Pop and probably go walk around Pop getting some footage for the resort. Put your foot on there. Put your foot on there. A little tickle. <laughs> so it wouldn't be a resort day without coming across the bridge to art of animation to kind of look around and show Asher some of the theming here. Uh, so right now we're in the Cars land, so we're gonna get his reaction to Lightning McQueen. Where? Right there, over there. Who is that? It's my McQueen. You wanna go meet him? Yeah. But how does he not move? He's a statue, but you can still go see him. Go get him. You mean, we're going to see the real one? Don't climb on the car. Why? Because you could fall and hurt yourself. No. Go, go see Lightning McQueen. All right, so we are gonna go inside of Art of Animation to their quick service location. Grab us a snack to kind of hold us over till dinner. Um, after looking at this resort, the Little Mermaid rooms that they offer are clearly so far away from everything else. Their Little Mermaid is the last section of this resort that is off on its own. Like the Skyliner, the middle of the Skyliner is right here. The Little Mermaid rooms are right there. The lobby is clearly way over there. So if you stay at the Little Mermaid room, be prepared to do a lot of walking, especially if you're going to be using the Skyliner to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Because man, these things, although the rooms are cute, don't get me wrong, they look all themed out really cool, but their locations are just horrible. Just, just horrible. We stay at Pop and literally right across the bridge, literally about right like up by where the Nemo rooms are, we stay right there on the end. We literally are like a block away from the Skyliner. So we're gonna go grab ourselves a lunch and then make our way over to Disney Springs. All right, friends, we have arrived at Disney Springs. We have uh, pretty interesting things going on today. We're gonna go bowling. Uh, we did it last year with Asher. He had a great time. He got his first strike last year. Uh, but I really enjoyed that drink I had last year from there. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna bowl a little bit, have fun with the kid in the AC and uh, 
After that, we'll start making our way over to our dining reservation at T-Rex. Everybody, we had fun bowling. Asher, did you have fun bowling? He won by one point. It goes to show that you know the cries of a toddler can motivate or unmotivate someone to winning a bowling game. So, with that being said, um, we are going to make our way to. to dinner at T-Rex and I told Asher because he won he would get a prize and he said yeah but you can't give me a hug for my prize you got to get me a toy or something should have never said that so we're on our way to T-Rex here at Disney Springs it's quite dead see for yourself When we came here uh, the day before Labor Day, when we landed, this place looked like Magic Kingdom. Asses to elbows all the way across, but not that way now. So we're gonna head to dinner and then it's time to put our game faces on. Asher, show everybody your cup. Whoa, what is that? It's a purple dinosaur. A purple dinosaur? Yeah. What does it taste like? Cherry. Cherry? Do you like cherry? Yeah. Do you like this place? Yeah. Yeah. We are eating dinner at T-Rex. Like, want, want me to take it off? Take it off. Want me to take it off? Yeah. All right. So what's up, friends? Obviously, you can tell we are at Magic Kingdom. Let's talk a little bit about this series of unfortunate events that happened. As we were leaving T-Rex, my great son decided he was going to get and a tantrum and he was mad because the tablet he was watching youtube kids obviously and the tablet lost the internet so he got mad at the tablet and decided to yeet it out of the stroller when he yeeted it out of the stroller we were trying to get to our minivan and I didn't see where it went. I didn't even know that he had thrown it outside the stroller. So we are one tablet short. Am I going to replace this tablet on this trip? No, because one, I don't believe in rewarding someone when they do something out of anger like that. So we have taken steps to improvise on the airplane and stuff like that. Not really worried about it. So this is the angle we're shooting tonight. So, really excited about tonight. We're shooting our far back angle. Um, so we're gonna do this, work on this. No stream tonight. Uh, see you when it's done. Just got out of Happily Ever After and recording. I wanted to talk a little bit about this show. There are a lot of different experiences 
on property from meeting characters to certain rides, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Soren, Flight of Passage, Rise of the Resistance. Each one of these experiences grants its own experience. This fireworks show is similar to that. It is its own experience all in itself. And granted, we're only about halfway done. We've still got two more nights of, of shooting uh, to really bring this thing to life. And I gotta tell you, man, this, this based on the way things are looking when I recorded it tonight, things, things are looking really, 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 really good. Um, that's, that's probably going to do it for us today. We ended up here at Magic Kingdom. We're catching a minivan back to the resort just for the simple fact that I want to get an early start at Epcot tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow's our last day at Epcot. So obviously we've got to shoot quite a bit of things like Soren and Frozen Ever After. So we're having a, a special dinner tomorrow at Space 220. We have another character dining tomorrow. This will be our third one at Garden Grill. Uh, a lot of good and fun stuff happening tomorrow. I want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we will see you guys tomorrow live at the Big Golf Ball. Peace.